Now, the company installing ultra-fast broadband in Bournemouth drains says it's connecting 5,000 homes a month. The Fibre City project aims to connect 80% of homes in the town to fibre optic cable. But as our political editor Peter Henry reports, there's still a debate about how to connect everyone. Faster and faster and faster, the internet is speeding along. An information superhighway turning into a ten-lane motorway for some people. For those not blessed with the right postcode, the internet is more of a crawl. Online gaming, downloading movies, sharing websites online is all out of the question. The problem is the copper wire coming into our houses, designed for phone calls. There's a physical limit to the amount of information that can be carried. The answer is to replace it with modern fibre optics, speeding the flow, but expensive. Until now. In Bournemouth, they found the answer in the sewage drains. A new, very waterproof armoured cable is being laid at half the cost of digging up the roads. And they're connecting 5,000 homes a month, free of charge. The whole town will be covered by next year. At this stage, we'll be doing it in the, in the Bournemouth town, in Bournemouth borough, but we're focusing on other towns and cities. We're talking to large cities and we're talking to smaller towns as well. The more expensive packages are the fastest, up to 100 megabits a second, more than twice as fast as any currently available. You can download a movie in a minute. You can get big numbers, but only in Bournemouth. And that's where the political parties have different views about where to go with broadband. The Conservatives want a target of half the country getting super-fast broadband within five years. But the Labour Party say every home should be able to get a slower speed, two megabits per second. They're intending to bring in a tax of 50 pence per phone line to pay for it. So the choice of the election is clear. Trust the government to guarantee broadband for everyone at a cost or rely on the market to move on from Bournemouth and one day reach your home with bigger and better broadband. Peter Henley, BBC South Today, Bournemouth.